Hello friends, um, welcome to another video. So in this video, I will talk about uh, roles and capabilities in the WordPress. So there are multiple roles available and each roles have a uh, different capabilities to manage uh, the co site content. Okay, so let's talk. Let's see wh what are the uh, user roles are there. So in the WordPress, there are around six user roles. Okay, so first user role is a super admin. So, so, uh, so super admin have access to the uh, multi-site network and uh, managing the multi-site network including creating the sites managing the users and the networks wide plugins and themes okay then the next user is the administrator so administrator who has access to all the features of a single site okay so administrator do not have access to the multi-site network but administrator can access the single site okay then editor editor who can publish and manage a post including the post written by the other users like authors and the contributors okay and then author roles who can publish manage their own post so author role can uh, create update delete their own post but cannot update delete uh, the others uh, others or users post and then contributor who can write and manage the post okay but cannot publish them okay and the subscriber who can only have their access to the profile place like a subscriber user rule don't have any any access okay only they can just update their profiles okay so let's see how uh how uh all this user have uh, access looks like into the wordpress admin so for example so this is the one site i have set up called learn wp ms ms for multi-site so i have set up this multi-site and i am the you i am current i am uh I'm logged in with this, my user who is the super admin okay so uh, only super admin can access the network so you can go to the my sites uh, my sites network admin and the dashboard okay so from the dashboard they can upgrade the network they can see what are the updates available they can manage the site so they can create a new site i have already created a one site called site one okay and this is the subjectly multi-site environment setup i have did right now okay then they can manage the user so i am currently logged in with my user and they have the super admin and ha i have added another user called chandra admin which will have access uh, which is the uh, this user have been added to the second sub site and where this user have admin access so we will also see how uh, the in the multi site network the what kind of access the uh, admin user do have okay then they can uh, uh, Super admin can also manage the teams. Okay, so they can network disable or enable the team so that uh, the teams can be available to their subsites or not. And similarly, the plugins. Okay, and then settings. So all these settings can be um, managed by the network admin, uh, or the, we can say super admin. Okay, so uh, if we go to um, the so in the in the private window, I have logged into the multi-site setup uh, with the Chandra admin role here. Okay. And then this you uh, added this user added to this sub site called uh, multi site one and only have the access to that site at all the admin access that user have all the site but about only that site not other sites not the other network set sites okay so this is the difference between the ad super admin and admin in the multi site network also in the single site all the user will have all the access for example here this is the another site called learn wp which is a single site and i'm logged in as a touch under editor okay so uh, i'm in wrong window okay so in in this window uh you can see this i am i have logged in with my admin and this is a single site setup where i do have all the access and this is a single so i am uh, currently i am logged in as an administrator user role okay so let's see how this capability is main, uh, managed okay so here you can see that uh, all the users have different different uh, capabilities so capability stored into the wordpress database and this capability is used to define what access the user do have based on their roles okay so for example super admin have this uh, uh, capabilities assigned 
to them. So create sites, delete sites, manage network, manage sites, managing users, plugins, teams, and everything. So individual, so all these capabilities map to particular uh, features uh, and administration purpose settings to in the WordPress admin. Okay, so uh, if you go to uh, database, um, so I have opened this. So in this step, I have opened the multi-site database in the WP options table. If I uh, in the WP options table, I can go to like query um, and the user roles. Okay. Uh, currently there are no oh sorry my bad uh, I have to open option name and see you can see the all the users roles have been saved here okay uh, but this uh, only specific to the test site not the entire sites and similarly if in the multi-site setup and this wp underscore which is the prefix table prefix so in the wp config uh, file if your table prefix is different then that table prefix will be used here so for example if the table prefix is xyz underscore then that uh, this uh, option name will be like this xyz underscore user underscore rules okay so that you have to know okay so in the sub site if you go here then this will be the different so uh, do a like query on the option name and if you do uh, user roles, you can see here the WP underscore two underscore users. So for example, WP underscore, which is our table prefix. Okay, and two, which is the site ID. Okay, so this is the way uh, the WordPress identify the or managing the options name to get the user rules and its capabilities from the database. Okay, so this is the difference in the sing, uh, single site and the multi site. And if you talk about in a single site, so it will be simply just like a main site we have seen. So I will select option name, go to the like query and user roles. So now you can see here the WP user roles. Okay. So um, yeah, so this is the difference between the uh, how this uh, roles and the capabilities stored into the uh, WordPress database. Okay. So now go back here uh, in the in this documentation official documentation so these are the uh, super admin uh, capabilities uh, we can have okay and these capabilities uh, bind to the different uh, administration screens okay and then administrator do have this uh, capability so i think we have a table uh, table okay yeah this is i am talking about cap capability versus role and table so this table will tell us more about what capabilities are there and what capabilities assigned to the different users so for example managing the network including sites users plugins and teams all these uh, all these capabilities uh, assigned to the super admin okay so if you go below then there are active plugins creator users plugins teams uh, this is for the individual uh, uh, sites okay whether it's in a multi site setup or it's a single site setup all this access will have in the multi uh, administrator and that's why there is a, a mention about a single site okay so they can only create a users in their single site not with the multi-site setup okay so admin will have all the similar access uh, into the single site okay and they can also uh, install the plugins install the teams and list users and everything so super admin will have uh, like all the access within the sing uh, within all the multi-site setup so super admin will have all the access to the all the sites created okay and all the functionality but administrator do have uh, site specific uh, access where that user have been added okay and then if you go here capability now you can see the moderate comments uh, manage categories manage links so this access we have uh, editor do have access okay uh, so editor can have uh, manage all the posts written by the other users as well with the different roles okay and they can also manage the comments categories and all the content types default content types available okay um then uh they, and the author will have a published uh access upload file upload file access used for the media so uh, the user who have upload file access they only can uh add a media okay or upload the media okay so author do have that access so author can uh do have author can only access their own post okay but they can access they can see the others users post but they cannot add it or delete they can only add it and delete their own post okay and similarly the read access will have a subscriber or the contributor okay contributor will have all the and contributor only can uh edit the post and delete the post their own no they cannot uh, publish the post they cannot edit other users post too 
Okay, so let's see how uh, this capabilities uh, works and how the WordPress admin looks, uh, the WordPress admin screen looks for, for each and every users. So I have already uh, uh, get this all the users and capabilities from that uh, options table. Okay, so we can have the administrator, which is the key and then its name, uh, uh, role name and then their capabilities, all these capabilities and one defined means this capability, uh, so user have this capability but uh, whether they do have access or not okay if it's zero if it's a false then that means this uh, user cannot do or perform the particular thing for example switch team so administrator can administrator cannot switch the team because it's been added here but its value is a false for example okay so we will go through that one by one so administrator have all the access so let's go to the editor editor will have a very limited access so for example here uh here in this single site setup okay so in this single site setup i have created multiple uh, users with the different roles okay um so uh administrator have all this access including the tools including the settings all these things so what other access the editor role have so if i go here um so this is the i am already logged in with the editor user in the single site so editor can only manage the posts okay so all these posts added by this author uh, for like admin uh Chandra is admin author or administrator and the editor can edit uh their own post their different other users post they can also delete and update the other users post okay they can also have a custom post type access okay because like i like in the movie library plugin we have uh register the movies and the people custom uh, post types and also the custom taxonomies like genre and uh, uh, careers okay so they can also manage the movies and the uh, uh, people post types they can also have a media access uh, they can manage the comments they can manage the pages too so editor basically have all the content related access excluding the site settings okay which only admin do have okay so now let me just go here and the log Okay, so let me also go through these capabilities because uh, this is very important. Okay, so here in the editor, you can see the edit other post, edit post, edit publish post. All these capabilities are uh, assigned to the uh, editor so that they can uh, do uh, do uh, more, have more access, but less than the administrator. For example, edit other post means the editor role can edit the post which is created by the users who has a role been uh, maybe uh, author or the contributor okay so they can like editor role have this uh, access and all these different different uh, access uh, will be managed by the different categories okay so we will also look more about this into into the next video where we will may check for the custom capabilities for the custom post types and taxonomies okay so now let's back to the author so author uh, author do have very limited uh, access okay so here i can just simply uh, log out and i will add a login with chandra author at user rule so author will have uh, access to the post and now uh, in the post you can see that these are the only as a view okay they can only view because all these posts are uh, created by the admin user or maybe the editor user they are not the author of this post so that uh, they cannot edit uh, the other users post but if i can go to the post for example okay so let me just add uh, a post by author and then simply uh, and they, they can also set a featured image so from the media library i can select this image quickly okay and then uh, published okay so if you go back here uh, leave the sites so in the all the posts you can see into the mine you can see all the posts created by the author and if we go to the all now you can see here you can edit your own the author can edit their own post but they cannot have access to the other post okay so author can uh, create their own post publish their own post and they can also delete uh, delete or the trash do the dressing and similarly it's for the movies too same capabilities apply to movies same capabilities apply to the people okay and uh, they can uh, upload the medias and manage the media they can manage the comments okay and they can manage their own and yeah tools will only have empty so they cannot have access to the tools okay available so and let's go now 
here with the contributor so contributor have so uh, the, all the other uh, access like uh, publishing the post or edit the published post their own post all these capabilities map to this uh, uh, these capabilities defined here okay and now in the contributor we don't have the uh, they do have edit post but they don't have this edit post uh, capability into the contributor that means contributor can create the post but cannot publish the post okay so if we go here uh, let me just uh, log out from this uh, user i will log in with a country computer user okay so in the contributor user you can you can see here if, if we add the new post okay so here a post by country computer okay so um and here you cannot you cannot set the featured image because you don't have the access to the media so upload files capability are used to access the media and that uh, capability uh, don't have in the contributor role so we cannot set the featured media image and when we go to the publish it will say submit for a review because contributor do not have access uh, to publish so when you submit for a review then it will be a save it will be in the pending state uh, pending post status okay so if you go here you can see this and you uh, the contributor role can edit their own post okay but they cannot publish okay and it will be in the pending state so it can be approved uh, it it will be published by the editor only author cannot publish the author's user's post okay because of the capability okay so this is the way and if we talk about the subscriber so if we go here into the subscriber and then log in with the subscriber user and admin okay. so now subscriber only have access to their profile so they can manage their only profile so it will have our subscriber have only the read only access okay they cannot modify or view or anything about the post and content or any site settings okay yeah so this all the user roles are there and we already seen that how these capabilities manage and saved into the database okay so in the next video we will see how these capabilities are used how we can manage the access how we can add custom capabilities for the like custom post types or the custom taxonomies and how we can manage it okay so in the next video we will uh, talk about it Okay, so thanks for watching this video. See you on the next one. Jai WordPress.